My name is Araba Obadai. I sit at the Manchester Civil Justice Centre. I'm a district judge and my specialism is business and property court work. I also um, do intellectual property and enterprise court work since the administration of that work was transferred from London to Manchester. Uh, additionally, I am a deputy chancellor of the Blackburn Diocese, which means that I'm, a, I'm an, an ecclesiastical judge and I deal with faculty petitions. Uh, I'm also a director of training for the Judicial College uh, and therefore I'm a course director for civil continuation and DDJ, that's Deputy District Judge, induction training. Yes, I did my A-levels, went to university, so I took the traditional route um, and then I became a solicitor and because I had been to Manchester University, I wanted to stay in and around Manchester. So all my work that I did, both as a what we used to call article clerks back in the day, which shows how old I am, now called trainee solicitors, I, I did in and around Manchester. And um, because I did a lot of my own advocacy in the Manchester courts, and I appeared a lot before the civil judges, uh, two or three of them asked me whether I would think about applying to be a part-time judge, which we refer to as a deputy district judge. I hadn't thought about it, but I did then and I applied and I was lucky to get in on my first uh, application. So I became a deputy district judge, which meant that I was working as a partner in practice doing um, chancery commercial litigation, but also sitting as a part-time judge. So I would start my work um, if I was sitting as a judge, I'd first of all go in early into work and then go and sit. And I would sit about 20 days a year. Now I know that it's you need to sit more because, of course, there is more of a requirement for sitting. And two years after I had been sitting as a part time judge, my mentor, who was a full time judge, now retired, suggested I apply to be a full time judge. But at the time, I didn't think I was ready. So it took me another year before I then applied to become a full time judge. And again, I was um, happily I got there on the first application. And uh, here I am today. No, oh, because I think if you have a belief in what you want to do and in yourself, you forge ahead. Um, so from my point of view, I made the work I did both in practice and as a part time judge speak for itself. And so they weren't any that I could perceive because I was just busy sort of getting on with it and doing the best work I could possibly do uh, in order to um, get to where I wanted to be. And I, it also included actually for me going out to talk to uh, organisations about becoming a judge. Uh, for example, the so women's solicitors organization and so forth. One of my colleagues, in fact, who is an Asian judge, reminds me that she heard me speak. And so therefore, because of that, realized that if I could do it, it meant that people of color could. And so she then decided to apply. And now she is, as I say, one of my colleagues at Manchester. It has to be my mother. Um, she instilled in all of us a sense of hard work and achievement. I mean, she worked very hard throughout her career. And I've always felt that, I mean, she died quite some time ago, but everything I've ever done, I've always felt I don't want to disappoint her because she put so much into my education and so much into me. And I thought I really want to make her proud of me. So at the back of my mind, even now, I always think, make your mother proud. Firstly, I would say try and find a mentor, uh, somebody you know who is doing what you want to do. Learn as much as you can from that person. Go to the sort of 
talks that I've been invited to give so you know more about the judiciary. Try and do some sittings in either in a solicitor's practice or a barrister's chambers. And again, get as much of it out as you can. There are they are mentoring schemes. They are schemes where you can go and shadow uh, a judge and see how it works. But most of all, really, really believe in yourself, because if you don't, nobody else will. Mm -hmm.